Hey traders, Serge Berger here. Today I wanted to have a look at a few stocks that have been falling apart in a pretty meaningful way uh, recently, more specifically last week. And it's starting to concern me a little bit as far as the broader uh, stock market picture looks like here going forward at least for over the next few weeks or so. We are, of course, very much in the middle of earnings season and, and uh, sort of guidance season for some stocks that don't report until uh, at some point in later February or March. So there's a lot of corporate uh, uh, news-driven stuff going on. One stock that last week lost about a third or even more than a third of its value is the largest electronic retailer, uh, Best Buy. and. Uh, the stock snapped every single one of its support lines, moving averages, uh, really anything you could, you could, uh, from a technical perspective, break. It managed to do so in one day after they forecast uh, some weaker than expected sales, and also came in with holiday sales are a little bit sketchy. So um, that's one thing that's causing a little concern now. Best Buy has been trading with sort of a series of uh, lower highs and lower lows over the past. A few years, but then the break, the breakout rally in the later part of uh, last year sort of uh, took a more bullish case back to the chart. But all of that has now been completely erased. So, so that's one stock that I'm looking at that's a little bit scary. Then you have stocks like, like um, Decker's Outdoor, which I talked about the other day. Also, uh, you know, really putting some significant uh, dents into the chart. You can see here with some pretty nasty trip ups. Uh, last Thursday, um, you even something like New Skin. Now uh, this is a br different story. This uh, the stock's currently involved with some uh, potential litigation issues in China, where the the folks over there are calling the stock a potential uh, scheme and, and and all that stuff. So, uh, but nonetheless, the price action is really what counts here, and you can see the stock has just absolutely uh, fallen apart here in the second half of last week. So. Um, and then another stock that I've now been, uh, been highlighting several times in the past few days is uh, Lululemon. Stock has certainly, uh, after its big rally in 2010, 11, and 12, then settled into more of a sideways grind in 2013. Um, and basically, with the latest price action over the past few weeks, has taken this price, this sideways consolidation. Uh, into really uh, what looks to be a, a, a price breakdown and potentially a trend break, um, or well, it's more than a trend break, trend change is what I'm trying to say. So uh, there you have uh, three, actually four stocks that I am looking at and uh, getting a little bit more concerned. The retail space, if you look at uh, something like the XRT ETF uh, isn't yet really so much falling it completely apart yet, but it's it's showing signs of weakness. Also, you can see an uptrend that's starting to uh, break down after a bit of a sideways march over the past uh, couple of months or so. So uh, a little bit of of, con of more concern concerning winds blowing up uh, up here, and I did just want to uh, point this out to you all. Hope this makes sense. Take care.